Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to another episode of Road to 500 Days. We are back here in Desolation Point and we just had the bear encounter in the last episode. Got the remains of it here. It's curing. And we got a couple things to do. I haven't actually cooked all the meat. Uh, I like writing down what to do. This is a good thing you should do by the way if you play infrequently especially. Write down a little note about things that you know you uh, plan to do or were going to do because when you're in the game it's easy to think oh yeah I'll remember that tomorrow but then maybe you don't play tomorrow something happens and you play a week later and you're like what was I doing again and it helps to have these little um, immediate goals and then long term goals I'm going to bring the stuff to Riken I need to repair clothes as well because I prefer Riken as a base uh, this can stay here though that's, uh, that's okay for now but I'm quite heavy and I am however going to take all of this And I think this pile here can stay. I think that's all right. How oh, happy am I? Not that happy. I'm going to drop by the trailer. To get some um, cloth repair. Because of the bear attack, my clothes got quite damaged. Then we got to wrap up, I think, Desolation Point today. What we're going to do is... Find the old bedrolls. We're going to go into the mines and also go to Stone Church. There we are. And Katie's Corner, I think. There's another one here somewhere. A pillow. We're going to do a bit of a wrapping up here today in Desolation Point. We're also going to go check on the bear, because it would be curious to see what does the bear look like. I mean, uh, I killed him and I put a fire. Uh, let's take all of this. Take it back to Riken. Um, I killed him, put the fire on top of him. And then... <laughs> And then, uh, what happens with the fire then? If the, if the, if the fire is on top of the bear, the bear despawns. How does that look? Let me also check it quickly. I don't think I picked up any food, did I? Good. I'm cooking level 5 now, so we can eat all this stuff. No, I can't go through there. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm quite heavy, but we can take a couple of kilos of this. Let's head to the Rikens. I have the transmitter tower. I do need to repair. But that can wait. I could repair it now so it works later, but uh, that's fine. Well, the main reason I want to repair it later is because when you repair the transmitter towers, it triggers an aurora. It's uh, quite useful. So if, if it's night and you repair it, an aurora happens right away. If it's during the day, then the next night becomes an aurora. It seems to have been pretty consistent so far. So... I would prefer repairing them when the I uh, have the radio, which is probably going to be my next project. Still going to be a while away though. We're going to check out the rest of the station point today. Do some more coastal highway probably next time. Going to go back to Mystery Lake, possibly via Pleasant Valley actually to get the stim there that I haven't picked up. Um, and a few other things. So I don't think we're going to be in Forsaken Airfield for some time. But it'll be the next project. They're all following me. No. You can also go get the saplings. There we are. Good old Riken. I just prefer this as a base just because of the forge. However, Hiberna is arguably a better base because it has more space. And also you have the workbench there. And you have a fire barrel, so you have two cooking slots. Well, here is just one, but it is better. 
But I just prefer, yeah, this personally. So we're gonna stay here. I'm gonna dump some stuff. And then we're gonna go uh, do the rest of the Slation Point. Uh, we don't need a lantern. Let's drop some stuff. Do I have any maple? I don't think I do. No, I have birch though. Okay, and then we can drop the bear hide here. Bear hide here. All find here. And guts here. Yeah. And then we can check out. This is kind of like the main storage over here. Uh, we got some books, yeah. Uh, I will carry a sewing book around with me, I think. Fire log, we don't need that. Let's put the fire log down. Hammer. I didn't realize I was even carrying that. Why is one closed and the other one isn't? <laughs> That's weird. Alright, what else can we dump? Um, Painkillers. Nah, we'll carry those. Go back to base. These are to be repaired. This will... Mm, we might repair this, actually. Food-wise... Uh, nothing here. Got an extra bedroll. I guess we can put that in here. Really matter, I suppose. I do want to take all of this stuff back to the... Um, to the main base, but it's not a priority right now to do that. Ah, it's full there. So for now I'm putting stuff in here, and then later, in the late game, I'll come back and pick everything up. <clears throat> Uses. Uh, put some of these flares here. I always like to carry one flare, just in case. How many hours do I have? Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, let's do some repairs actually. Do that first. How long has this got? A oh, while, wow, okay. Uh, let's do that first. Let's repair this because I'm going to leave this here. Yeah, that's good enough. And we can put this back. And then we need to do some repairs on our body, so... This is a bit damaged, we'll repair this. I probably will make the deer pants, though, and have one deer pants and one combat pants. And then the other one will be ruined. Warmth-wise, the combat pants and the deer pants are the same, but uh, they are different in terms of wind resistance. Now, I personally don't really care about wind resistance and that sort of stuff very much, but it does it does make a difference. You should should do it. I'm just a bit lazy like that. Oof. Need to repair some of this stuff. Might need to kill some rabbits. Okay, let's put some cloth in here. There we are. Okay, that's better. This will just eat as we get it. Okay, nice. <clears throat> that is good. Very nice. Do I have a note about Riken? Emma Maple, Misk, Cloth. Alright. Yeah. Pelts. Alright. Let's go. I need some water soon, actually. Did I, I don't suppose I put any water here when I forged, did I? No. Okay, let's head outside. I'm going to check out a few areas. Do some mapping and some looting. Oh, foggy. Oh, that's a shame. I want to do some mapping. Uh, in that case, we can do the mines first. Let's do that, shall we? About this way. Uh, 
I'm not going to check the beach coming every single time there's a blizzard. I'm only going to check it if there's been a blizzard. And I'm kind of near it anyway. But I'm not going to go out of my way. In my opinion, I actually think that the beach coming at the moment is a little bit broken. It's too powerful. Um, it's a great system for more loot. And I love the stuff they added that you can find a canoe and a boat and stuff like that. I think that's great. But on Interlope especially, I think you can get too much stuff from it. Let's also quickly see if the moose is here. Because the moose can be up here. It doesn't look like it though. No. Okay. And we're going to go and check out the bear cave, see if the bear is despawned. And then we're going to go into the mines. The good thing about this forge is that there's never a shortage of coal because of the nearby mines. So, uh, coal for forging, you'll always have it. You're going to avoid this wolf. Guess not. It's quite cool actually. I might grab his pelt. And actually get it without a fire. Yeah. We don't need the rest. We don't need the pelts either, but I like having them. I have a little collection in case I want to make the wolf coat. I could get the meat, but we have a lot of food. Ideally, if you want to optimize things, it's great that you harvest every animal you kill. <clears throat> get all the food you can. But the main issue with that is that... Um, um, then you have to always stop. So if you get attacked by a wolf, then you have to stop whatever journey you're on to harvest the wolf to get the meat. I don't think that's always worth it. You just have to make a decision. I mean, the wolves are renewable anyway. So all you really lost there was... Uh, was an arrow, really. So look, the bear carcass is still here. But it looks like the <laughs> campfire has glitched through. So this looks actually weirder than before. <laughs> this is bizarre. It looks like he's been elevated on top of it. Can I go under? Oh wow, I can. Now that's a, that's a new experience for sure. Hello. Are you having a nice day there? That is, uh, that's a new, new one. <laughs> okay, we'll come back another time. To see what happens with the campfire, but at the moment, it seems to be basically frozen in space. Hmm. I don't think the game knew what to do with it, and this is basically how it ended up calculating. <laughs> wow. I map this. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah, we got a flying bear. It's gonna stay here. Have a drink. All right. Yeah, flying bear. We'll come back for you another time. Check out the campfire. I'll probably be hovering in the air still. This bridge will probably be repaired one day, or lead to Perseverance Mills or something. Okay, now it's visible here. Let's head into the mines. What's that over there? Yeah, far in the distance there, right there, there's something. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have a look at it later. It might be something washed up by a blizzard. Nice temperature, it's minus six. 
I need to make another bandage, uh, antiseptic bandage, because I used one for the bear attack, and I like to have always two. I need some of these. <clears throat> there we go. And we can also map this entrance here. Yeah, there we go. Let's get the lantern out. Wouldn't say no to a jerry can. Let's get all the coal, take that back. This is not a very long mine. Got a torch, 100% torch. But it leads out there though, the churches. Yeah, I can. Summit soda. Here. I think there's one more kind of atrium. Always pick up the coal, even if you don't need it, because you can just dump it again. And then it will respawn anyway. <clears throat> just always pick it up and just leave it somewhere if you don't need it. I think here there's a pry bar. The exit, and then here. Okay, I think here you can find a pry bar or a storm lantern. Apologies if my voice is a bit raspy. I recently recovered from a cold. Let's see. That red lock. Like, oh wow, combat boots. Anymore. We don't need that. <laughs> Uh, it's also new, I think. Okay. This should take us here. Not sure I carry much more. There we go. And let's go up here. This should lead to the uh, church. There we are. I like desolation. I like the small region desolation points and broken railroads. But they're small, but they have a lot going for them. And you have a sense of mastery mapping all of it. I think there is a maple up here. Let's grab that. Uh, don't judge. Let's see, I think usually up here there's a sapling. Let's just have a look. Not today. Seems like not today. We can do this though. My fingers feel numb. There we go. Could use some rabbit pelts actually. Get a couple. Where did my stone go? It's a goddamn freezing. Also gonna come after me, but oops. Oh, I'll leave it for now. There's the stone church. A lot nice little mini base. It still counts as outdoors, as far as I know. It's not like Tim Wolf, like the Mountaineer's Hut, for example. Dog food. Uh, is that it? Yeah, it's Wolfie. He's walking around. There he is. You can go kill a bunny for me. He did kill a bunny. I want the bunny. I 
have to make a fire here to... Uh... How many bunnies are these wolves killing? <clears throat> well, I might make a fire because... Um... There are a lot of animal deaths here. I heard the wolf kill a rabbit over here somewhere. Let's get uh, this rabbit. Hey. Thanks. They changed the rabbit uh, as well. I just noticed that now. Have a look at it later. We're going to go to the lighthouse and recover a bit there. I think we'll stay there for the night. We'll go to Katie's corner last, I think. So I'll go from here. Did I map the lighthouse? I did not. We'll go from here, check out the little islands, and then um, we'll go to Katie's corner. I like to, whenever I have a regional base, if possible, I like to always have a few pelts of every animal laying in the regional base. Because that way, if I come back and something gets damaged, I can just repair it. So now, my rabbit stuff is a bit damaged and that needs repairing. But I don't have any rabbit pelts. So grabbing a couple rabbits is uh, helpful. I probably won't be using them now. <clears throat> but when I, well, when I come back, I can uh, use them. Same with bear pelts, I try if possible to always have one bear pelt available. Because then the bear pelt uh, can be used to repair the bear coats. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's map here. The higher up you are, the more you map. There we go. That's something they changed with the... Oh, what was the name of that patch? F. There was a patch where they... Um, they added the spray paint. And when I did that, they also did it so that the higher up you are, the more you map of a region. Yeah, okay, we're gonna sleep here, but before we do... I'm gonna harvest the rabbits. But here they look the same as before. If I drop it... Yeah, they look different, I think. I think they added more white to it. Yeah, I don't think they used to look like this. That's fine, of course. That's great. Let's harvest these. When I'm indoors, I like to harvest rabbits by hand. Because, well, we're in it for the long haul, aren't we? Let me see if I can read one hour of this. Uh, because then you are too dark. Then it's um, you save the condition of the um, the tools, and you're not really in a hurry anyway, so might as well do it. Let's drop this stuff. There we go. Let's. I'm not sure I can craft this. Yeah, I can. Okay. Generally speaking, the rule is that if it's dark, you can do anything that requires your hands still, but anything that requires tools is not okay. I think I'm going to start eating some of the stuff that is, um, ruined. I think we'll eat that. It's because, um, they, they weigh quite a bit. I prefer transitioning to having meat and cattails carried instead. You can't get food poisoning now anyway. We do need some more water soon, though, so I have to make water soon. Okay. Let's sleep 10 hours. Okay, nice. Let's drink this. And that. 
have another drink. Oh, we might as well eat this piece here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then let's sleep. I think it'll be one hour, not two, but that's okay. Then we go check out the little island at the Riken. We'll take this stuff with us. I think I looted everything here, yeah. What's the weather like? Foggy, but okay. There's a few things we need to check. I'm not gonna make a perfect map of Desolation Point now. We're just mapping some of the central parts. Good morning, crows. Let's check out here, because I think, if I remember correctly, there was a blizzard when I harvested the bear. So seeing as I'm here anyway, oh lockers. Seeing as I'm here anyway, I might as well check it out. It looks like a wolf carcass washed ashore and some birch bark. <clears throat> Let's check out the lockers. The lockers I think has pretty random loot, but the main thing in the lockers is you can find rare items. There is a list of the different interloper loots. Not done by me, I think it's done by a user called AV. Who's in the um, the long dark Discord? Oh, Ooh. shout outs to AB if you're listening. I think that was his name. And uh, it's possible to find the aviator jacket and the hockey jersey in these. <laughs> okay. So we have a wolf carcass here. I'm not going to harvest that though. The wolf carcass changes things for the dead world challenge. You can actually harvest this stuff now. Because in the dead world challenge you can't uh, har create a wolf coat or anything. If you're not familiar with what dead world is, I'll tell you about it in a sec. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Cattail head. There's a little island. This is actually one of the possible spawns for interlock. If you spawn in Desolation Point, you can spawn here. And there's usually some saplings here. Wow, look at this. We got birch. Painkillers, fish. I'm gonna leave the fish. <laughs> a sapling, wow. And a spray can, okay. Just too much stuff on the interloper. Okay, here we are. So you got some rabbits here, got some deer. It's a pretty good location. It's called, I think it's actually got a name. I think it's called Little Island. Yeah, it is Little Island. Here we are. If I map this, I'm guessing the wolf carcass will show up actually. Might grab a couple of these. I didn't, okay. Let's see if I can hit these. I haven't had, my aim has been a bit off lately. Where'd the other one go? I think... I like to always carry two of these. One is uh, for rabbits, one is for, uh, for wolves. Strife! <laughs> I think there is a fish over there. Check it out though. It's a fish, yeah. Okay, there was a sapling on the other side though, I saw it. Anything here? No. There's also that little thing that I washed ashore near Hibernia. I need to check out what that is. The rare things that washed ashore, like the um, boat, I think it's very rare on interlock. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, Dead World Challenge, I mentioned earlier. If you're not familiar with that, a Dead World is a challenge, a custom challenge, which is basically a, a time limited survival run. So 
basically, Dead World is kind of like Interloper, but with animals turned off. So there are no animals at all, including fishing. That sounds pretty peaceful, but the problem with that is that that means you're going to die because you eventually will run out of food. Because the only renewable resource of food there is in the game is animals, really. If you turn that off, eventually you're going to run out of food. You can only eat what you find. So eventually you're going to run out. So that's a challenge. And uh, with beachcombing it gets a little bit easier. And of course with clothing you can't make animal clothing because there are no animals. If you're lucky you'll find like um, you know some deer you, you can you can create some deer stuff because you, there's enough deer carcasses around if you're lucky you can make one rabbit thing but wolves is tricky but you can usually make one uh, of wolf stuff but now with beach coming it should be easier that challenge Let's also drop our, uh, got some coal on me I don't need. Drop most of that. Yeah, we can also craft a couple of things quick. Uh, and then, let's see. Let's leave one of the accelerants there. We don't need the combat boots. Put those away. Oh, I got a rabbit. Yeah, of course. I oh, yeah, these cans too. I don't actually have much in terms of the repairs. I need to make a fishing tackle for sure. And let's also harvest these. I'll make some fishing tackles when I get to Coastal Highway. Let's put some of these in here, like 18 of them or something, yeah. Bit lighter, oh yeah that, that too, we don't need to carry this around. Uh, no, actually, no we don't need to carry it around, yet. Anything else? Carrying the rabbit around. There we go. Drop that there. That there. The rabbit meat we'll put outside. I'm gonna do another check by Hibernia. Drop this. There we go. That's better. Is there any food I can eat? Yeah, let's eat these things. Get rid of the expired stuff. Let's eat this too. Need to make water. Might do that in the bear cave. <clears throat> I'm gonna check along the beach coming here. It's because there was something on the other side of Hibernia that looked odd from the distance. I'm just going to check to see what that is. It makes some fire hardened arrows also. Any sticks do I have? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Alright, we got some wood, some fish. More wood. Yeah, a cattail. This is pretty much the only situation where the crampons are a little bit useful. And 
down there. Is that a wolf? Oh, that's a deer carcass. How about that? A deer carcass washed ashore. And the fog is lifting. It's the salmon that I was carrying. Uh, let's see, can I very quickly grab this? Yeah, let's do it. Might actually, in that case, make a fire here. Let's get rid of this guy. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Let's make a fire. But I got quite a few things to cook. I might as well get the day hide while I'm at it. There we go. Put these two on and one of these. Yeah. All right, so let's do this and uh, make water. And put the venison in there. Drop all the stuff. And let's harvest this. Their hide hides are always good to have. Forty minutes. When an animal carcass is forward. You can get the hides by hand. It takes the same amount of time. How long does it take to make these? Twenty nine minutes, okay. Make some more, let's cook this make one batch of these. I like to have them just to deter wolves rather than killing them all the time. And let's see what else. 11 minutes, 10 minutes. Is this. Cooked. Forty minutes. Okay, let's grab this too. Guts are the lowest priority. I just grab them if I if I have the time. Because uh, you get so many guts from like bears and moose and stuff. And they're pretty easy to stay on top of. As we grab it, if we're at it. There's just that and that. Hey, we got carcass harvesting five. Fantastic. That's another thing leveled up. That's very cool. It pretty much just makes it easier. You can do it faster. You can you can now be hundred percent frozen. You can do it by hand. <laughs> And the hide and gut tree is reduced, which is good. Well, let me eat while that boils. Let me quickly check over here. If what I saw over here was like an illusion or if there was something here. I'm thinking I may have just seen these things. Fish. Yeah, I think maybe from a distance what I saw was this stuff. Yeah. 
I'm gonna check it on that. Take this fish though. And we'll take the fire with us to cook some more bear meat. I do like the new sound effects. <laughs> Let's actually take this. Down in there too. Three, nine, eight. Take that. Half a liter. And let's grab a gut. This is kind of one of those episodes where I go around and doing a lot of stuff in a region. Just misc stuff. Just to set up the regional base really. Exploring what there is and then getting resources for the base. Let's eat the fish because it has the most calories and it wastes a lot. And I got a little bit of lantern fuel here from the fish that I cooked. If you didn't know that, when you cook fish, you get lantern fuel like this. If you have the jerry can on you instead, it goes in the jerry can. I can use this to refuel this. There we go. Uh, I'll do is this. Boil that. Like this. Pick up all this stuff. I wonder if I can drop any of this. Yeah, we're gonna be heavy. Then we're gonna do the Tomasina trick. Just grab this before it's melted and put on what did melt. And now you can see they're matched. That's called the Tomasina trick because Tomasina did it to not die once. If you're not familiar with it, let me briefly explain. So uh, on the long dark twitch community there's a load of different streamers i know a lot of people don't like twitch but the long dark is an exception twitch uh the long dark on twitch is fantastic there's loads of amazing streamers that are very friendly very non-toxic many of them are family friendly as well i would say most are and it's just a very very welcoming community and one of those streamers is Thomasina. Thomasina is a very good player. She plays Interloper mostly. She's also a variety streamer, but for the most part, she plays the Long Dark. And she's very, very uh, good at the game. Doing it for years, and she does it full time. And she has a video that's called um, The Run That Was Never Meant To Be, or something like that. Where she goes down to 1% health. She starts a new Interloper run, and she goes all the way down to, I think it's 1% health. She spawns in Ash Canyon. And the thing is that she actually survives. She survives this run. Um, because one of the things that she does is that she... Um, let's just uh, go inside here and drop the stuff to cure. Actually, I might head to the bear cave. Because I want to cook the meat there. Yeah. One of the things that she does is that uh, she's very close to dying. She's at like 1 or 2% health, and she's dying of dehydration as well. She doesn't have water. So what she does is, she starts a fire, and she puts water to uh, to melt. And then she lets it melt for like a minute. And then she immediately takes it off, and then she boils what she melted, which is like 0 0.3, 0 0.03 liters. Very, very little. But then she boils that, and she drinks it. So that means that instead of boiling, like the whole whole thing, you know, if you put the recycled can down and make half a liter, I don't need to use this big torch, but well. If you put the recycled can down in the beginning of the game, you boil half a liter of water. That takes about 40 minutes in total. 20 minutes to melt. I might as well harvest this now that we have a fire. Might as well. 
uh, 20 minutes to uh, melt the water and then 20 minutes to boil it. So that means 40 minutes. Now dehydration does 2% damage per on, hour. Sir. So you're going to lose at least 1% health in the time you make the water. So if you instead, I can just show you, if you instead uh, if you desperately need water, you can just do this. Put the can down, put half a liter to boil, then you wait a little bit, like just like this. Um, and then you click on it again, you take the water, then you click on this water again, and see now you have a very small amount of water, put that to boil, right? And now you have a tiny bit of water ready in just like a couple seconds. Zero, and then you drink that, and it's not a lot, but if you are dying of dehydration, it actually prevents dehydration uh, because you, you are not in the red. And then you can make some more water while you have that hydration going. There's a little trick. It's only really useful in a very bad situation uh, where you... Um, where you're dying, really, and you need everything as much as you can. But uh, Thomasina is the one who, who thought of doing that. So we call it the Thomasina trick. We might as well harvest this stuff. Made a minor mistake that the wolf could attack me while I'm doing this because it didn't drop my meat. You should always drop your meat. I think, by the way, they should add this cup here. They should add that to the shop. At the moment, the shop is closed. But if they open it, they should add this one. I have this one. They gave it to me when I reached 10,000 subscribers, which was very nice of them. But they should make this one too. <laughs> Sounds like there might be... Oh, actually protected from the wind here. Can you believe it? They are actually protected. I'm gonna go grab some sticks. I want some more fire hardened arrows. Oh no, but hey, the wind changed. The wind changed. Yeah, it changed. And this is not gonna oh, cook. So cold. That's a shame. In that case, there's no point going to the bear cave. Because, um... Because I don't have the fire to bring. We have to take all of this. Same. Going back to the... Um, Hibernia then. Yeah, you should, if you haven't already, like, Twitch can be a toxic place depending on what you watch and who you watch and so on, but the Long Dog is an exception. The Long Dog Twitch community is extremely friendly. You have a set piece of regulars that play. When you first go on to Twitch, you'll see you don't know who to watch, but there's loads and loads of people, and they all cater for different personalities and play style. You know, there's Thomasina, uh, who's uh, very good at it. I uh, guess not family friendly, but she's a very, very good player. She's also very entertaining. Then you have Rand Alpha 1966, who's very friendly and easygoing and calm, an like older man. A Kimiota, who's like the godfather of this game, he's, he knows everything. You have Once and Only, who does all these custom challenges. Um, and many, many, many others. And of course, you have the Hobbits, the four Hobbits of uh, The Long Dark, which uh, call that after they were in my sack challenge a year ago, which is uh, DH done, Cory and Fistle, a very tiny burb, and Killer Tuna 44. They play Voyager and Interloper. And many, many others, but you can't list them all. One day I'll list them all for you, but if you're curious, just go on Twitch and, and watch. They're very, very friendly there. If you want to stream Long Dark yourself also, go into the Twitch community, get them to know you, and then they will help support you. 
Okay, we're gonna stay in here. Is there anything I need to craft? Or oh, time of day is I think it's too dark to read. Harvest this. That means we could briefly check beach coming again. Yeah. Okay, we're going to sleep here, I think. I don't think there's anything I really need to do. No. Okay, we're going to sleep then. For 10 hours. I think it'll be more like 8. And then I think we're leaving this region. I think we're done here. I'm going to eat the fish, because the fish weighs so much. The fish gives a lot of calories. But they weigh so much. There's this one, 1.5 kilos for 700 calories. I need to find well, this one's to one kilo for a thousand, for example, right? It's a big difference. That didn't actually. <laughs> Seven liters of water, okay. Okay, how long did I sleep? Uh, I might wait. Actually, one thing we could do because it's dawn. The sun might be out and we could cook some more. But we don't really need need to, I suppose. Grab a few of these. Sure much more. No, definitely the sun is not out. <laughs> uh we'll take take most of this with us. The rest can stay here. Pretty heavy. We can very quickly check over here on the way to Riken. Sun is coming up though, so it's a bit dark right now, but it's it's coming up. Ah, right, come on. There we are. Yeah, I can see the dawn is coming. It's kind of like light in the horizon. Now I'm just going to quickly check to see if there's anything here, since there's a blizzard. There was a blizzard rather. Oh, I didn't even realize that this was not the deer carcass, it's actually a corpse. Wash the shore where the deer carcass used to be. That's a nice little marker actually. I can see something in the distance there, over there. We'll check that as well. Looks like it might be either wolf carcass. Oh, I'm not sure what else it would be. <clears throat> Could be a corpse. Can't make it out. I think it's a corpse, yeah. It's kind of sad. The corpses wash ashore, you know. <laughs> like, what happened to them? Why are they, why are they washing ashore? All right, that's it. I'm gonna go here. See how much the energy is drained already. So I'm already lost, whatever that will be, 20% of my energy. Just going from my burning to here, because I'm heavy and I'm running. That's how quickly you lose those things. We've done everything now. There's a couple of minor places I've been to, some nooks and crannies, but the only one we're going to go to before we leave now is Katie's Corner. Katie's Corner is um, near the entrance desolation point. On lower difficulties, you can find a bow there. Any raw meat to drop? I don't think so. But we can drop some food here. We don't need to carry all this stuff. Always good to have food in your base. Yeah. And then we can uh, read a book to warm up, I think. Get some light in here too. And I 
thing, have another wolf pelt, don't I? Yeah. Have another deer pelt. Guts. These aren't cured enough to be used yet. I'm going to drop this wood here too. Grab two of these coal. Actually, no, because um, we will probably find some leaving here. Okay. Uh, let's have another look in here. If I can drop anything. Don't need this. Guess we're taking the rest. Need to repair the rabbit stuff soon. Let's put one coffee here. Uh, that, yeah, I guess. Actually, no, we'll take this with us. Uh, okay, I guess that's it for now. Let's also sleep. I think we're done here now. We have a regional base. There's uh, the only thing we don't have. Let's actually do that here. We'll put here. We don't have water in the base. There, yeah, three liters of water. That's good enough. It's always nice to have food and water waiting for you. But I didn't have a gigantic cooking session where I made loads of it. And then I think that's it for the isolation point for now. We're going to come back here with the radio and also to just uh, set up even more of a regional base. We now have the beginning of one. There's food here. There's pelts. There's water. We are pretty good. We're good to go, really. It's one of these. But we could have even more resources. We could have more food, more water. But for now, this is good enough so that when I come back here, I know that if I'm in dire straits, I can go in there and I can sleep and I have food and water. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check over here. This is Matt's truck. There's usually a rope in here. We're not going to take, I don't think. And then we're going to go to Katie's corner. And then I think we're done here, pretty much. And here is this, I think it's called Matt's truck. Yeah, there's a corpse. Matt's truck. Matt's got some wires. Pry bar. We just take it, it's fine. And then sometimes there's stuff in here, but usually it's uh, there's the rope that's in there. Not today though. Nothing. And sometimes in here there's a corpse, another corpse, but a carcass. But even if there is, we don't we don't need it. So grab this though. Let's just quickly also map this. Jesus, this is cold. It is Astrid. Yeah, yeah, mass truck. Okay, we're a bit cold, but that's alright. We're gonna go to... There's a stone in there, I throw that. I'm gonna go to Katie's corner now. There's also a couple boats I didn't check because I got distracted by a wolf when I had low health. Warming up a bit. Well, if you spawn in a desolation point, it's often good to go here uh, to get uh, to get to Katie's corner because of uh, the rabbits and the other. I'll show you. Okay, let's also check this car. I don't think I checked the cars. I don't think there's many wolves left. I think I killed my <laughs> most of the wolves. Speaking of which, let's try something. Eh, didn't work. Okay. <laughs> 
Didn't think he was going to be right there. Hmm. What's the condition of this? Okay. 10%. That was a bit unexpected. I was going to kill the wolf, but because I entered the car here, I thought the wolf would go over here and then he'll go this way. But in reality, he actually went around. That's, that's a bit. <laughs> that was a bit unexpected. <laughs> I didn't expect that. But as usual, I was ready for the contingency. I would never have done that if I had lower health. No. Okay, is there a car battery here? There is. Okay. If I had a spray can, I would mark it. Okay, and down here, I checked these boats already, but there's some boats over here as well. I didn't check those. Seem to be anything? No. Uh, I think I'm actually going to bandage my foot this time. Just because I'm cold, and we're going to go a little bit still. We're going to go up here to Katie's corner and uh, I'd rather not walk there that slowly. Wood. So it's very easy to miss the Katie's corner so over here is the lighthouse. There, right. And then you go down here on the ice. Then you have to cross over to this side. You can go around or you can go over. And you get to this side. Looks like there's some beach coming. And then up here there's a ramp. This takes you to Katie's corner. This looks like fish. Don't need that. Could do this though. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. See if they're still there later. Oh, yeah. And up here there's rabbits and usually a deer carcass. Which is great. So when you spawn in Desolation Point and Interloper, it's very uh, good to go up here. Because you can just, um, you can just uh, go up here when you have the matches, uh, light a fire, get the uh, deer carcass, get a couple of rabbits, and then you have food and water, provided that the wind doesn't blow out your fire. And if you're lucky, you'll find a little bit of loot, like a book or something. On lower difficulties, you will also find, um, you will also find sometimes a bow here. So there's a good little area. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Katie's Secluded Corner, but it's, I just call it Katie's Corner. There we are, two rabbits. There's the deer carcass. As you can see. And there's the fireplace. This time we have beef jerky. A book. Dog food. That's it. A can. It was pretty good. The map, but even though we're cold. There we go. And then you can take a shortcut down here. There's a load of different ways you can do it. It's not too hard. Uh, here's where we're going to go over there. That's where we're going to go now. But of course, there's a cliff here, but you can you can get down here easily. You can go left, you can go right. Uh, there's many different ways. I never actually tried going over this way. Well, very tempting to try that, but maybe not on my main run. <laughs> and instead, we'll do this way. Go right. Just go right all the time, and it's pretty easy. Get all these little surfaces you can step on. Uh, what was a bit further? Yeah, there we are. There we go. And then this little nook and cranny here. And there we are. There we go. Nice. I don't know if I checked all the way down there, but we can do, wait for that. There isn't really anything there anyway. This truck, have I checked this truck? Um, doesn't look like it. I'm quite cold, but uh, it's okay. Now before we go, it's on the left here, but I just want to quickly go up here to the right. This leads to an area above the mine entrance. And there's usually a maple or, or birch here. 
and if not, you'll find uh, the roll sips and, and mushrooms. See, there's a hollowed out tree. Anything? No? Yeah, here we are. There's the maple. How's my condition? And that? Ah, we can map this. Recover in the mines or something. There we go. We'll take this with us. There's a deer carcass there too. Didn't even see that. Okay. Let's head out of here. We're gonna go into the mines. Not the, yeah, the, the, the mines leading to Crumbling Highway. Sorry if the quality went slightly lower there. I noticed that I slowly started drifting away from the mic. <laughs> Quite low condition now, but well, that's okay. I don't, I don't mind. What we can do, we're gonna stay in the mine, read a little bit, and then sleep and recover some health, and then we can keep going. It's uh, not too difficult. I like to be higher condition than this, though. But let me have a look at this tree from this angle. This does look like you can actually traverse it. Yeah. Huh. I never tried that before. Sometimes these branches will block you. Oh, another time I'll try it. Not right now, in case I fell down or something. But let's check over here quickly. Is there anything down here that I can see? Doesn't look like it. Condition is pretty low. Have I mapped this? I have not mapped it. Uh, I guess we could take this with us now. I think we'll risk mapping this too. There we go. <laughs> Alright, then we can go through it. We're going to recover some health in here. First, let's go through the cave. There shouldn't be much coal here. Now, there might be a little bit, uh, but it's not that long since I was here. How long was it actually? So we can find out. So now it's 54. I got here, here, so that's six days ago. Call it seven days. That's not very long. It takes three weeks for coal to fully respawn, but emphasis on fully. So you still can get some respawning faster. So I wouldn't be surprised if you find like one or two coal but the rest will not be here. And I think we'll sleep in every bit. We've been outdoors for quite some time, so cabin fever shouldn't be an issue. Oh, workbench, is there anything I need to make or can make? No, I don't think so. Checked all this stuff, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, we'll check the crates another time. That's another long-term project for a long survival run. Check all the crates. Especially now that they changed the loot. Not that long ago. Check all the crates. There's all sorts of long-term projects in addition to going to every region. As you can see now, I'm on day 50-something. Here's some coal. And I've only really fully mapped one region, which is this one. There's loads of stuff to do. But another thing you can do in the long run is to check all the crates. That's a nice little project to have. You'd be surprised how long it takes. Like checking all the crates in the dam, for example. It takes a long, long, long time. I think it took like 20 in-game days or something for me. We need to have the calories for it. Okay, we're gonna sleep in here. Okay. Now first, because it's... Let's drop this also. It's daytime. Uh, do I need to repair anything? It might be easy to see here, because of wolf attack. Oh, these are almost ruined. I need to repair these. Do I have... Rabbit anywhere? Uh, trappers has rabbit. Ew, they might actually break then. It's possible that they'll break. 
But I don't know if I can realistically fix this in time. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. The rest can wait. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna read this. Feet got ruined, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to eat uh, this. Have some water. Oh, I really should have a herbal tea, but oh well. Don't have any. Make that later. Let's finish reading this if we can. Yeah, we might even maybe read one, of, although this is pointless to actually a level max anyway, so. How are we looking with sewing? Almost level three, that's good. This we can level to level five if we want to. Doesn't really do anything. This we can level also to level four with books. Same with this, not really necessary though. There's really, really fire starting archery and mending that matters now. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else? Clothing to repair, for example. This we can repair. And then that broke. You can put that in here so it despawns. Yeah. And let's see. Uh. Isn't much more to do, I guess. No, I don't think so. I think we'll just wait until we can sleep for 10 hours. And we'll go from there. There we are. And then let's put a goal for ourselves. This isn't a goal. This should really be listed somewhere like down here or something. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Yeah, containers unopened except summit and deer clearing. So I know that I can open it later. That's not really a goal, so let's get rid of that here. Okay, then we're going to sleep. Let's eat some bear meat. Actually, we can eat these. And let's have one bear meat, yeah. And we'll eat one of these. good enough and then that there we go and I sleep 10 hours herbal tea would have been good there but I didn't have one ready should have always had one ready but I didn't really think of it okay that's good uh, I'm going to though pick this up pick these up as well Eat that. Have a drink. It's a little bit heavy, but within reason. Uh, is there anything I can drop? I guess we can drop this. Oh, not that heavy. I think it's okay. Alright, so let's go here. And then back in to save the game. There we are. There we go. So, fellow survivors, I think that's it for this episode. And now we have done Desolation Point. We've established a regional base there, which is great. So now we have one in Desolation Point, and we have one, or maybe even two, in Coastal Highway. So we're getting there, which makes traveling between regions easier. We're definitely going to come back here because we need to get more supplies. So I'm going to come back here at some point in the future to do some more hunting. And also, of course, repair the tower when I have the radio. 
We're going to come back here for sure and expand on the base. But for now, we looted the desolation point, killed Scruffy, did some beach combing, got all the saplings and things, did some forging, got a new knife, which is good. <laughs> so this is uh, looking pretty pretty well. For now, we're done with the desolation point, but we'll come back here another time. Next time, we'll probably go now to Coastal Highway, do some repairs, maybe have a little look at some loot we may not have done. And then we're going to head back to Mystery Lake with some of the loot we want to take to the main base. Possibly we'll go via Pleasant Valley to get the steam in the mines there. We'll see though. I have to think about that. But yeah, so that was it for now. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye bye.